Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to retouch a photo using Stable Diffusion. Traditionally you would use Photoshop for something like this, but with Stable Diffusion we'll be able to recreate the face entirely, with all its pores, wrinkles and details, which I believe gives you an advantage over Photoshop because it saves you so many hours of retouching and recreating the skin. We're going to be using the Realistic Vision V20 in painting safe tensor and the VAE that it comes with. This is the prompt that I'll be using, you'll find a link to it in the description down below. As you can see I've already loaded my photo up. What I wish to do is remove all the freckles from her face and make it completely clear. We need to check only masked, which is important because it'll only change what's underneath the mask. As for sampling method, you can use whatever you like, but I prefer to use this one with sampling step set at 39. Resize 2 is important. You need to make sure that you're not going over 1024 on the longer side of your image, so you need to match the aspect ratio of your image. The CFG scale can be left at 7 and then denoising strength needs to be set at 0.4. Now we can draw our mask over the face, make sure that it overlaps the hair just a bit. And we'll click generate. If you find that it's changed the structure of the face too much, we can reduce this down to 0.3. Click generate again. As you can see we have no freckles and the skin texture has been recreated. Now we can select our new render and drag it over to our window. This will replace the original and let us paint our next mask. What we're going to do now is the body, remembering to slightly overlap. And we'll click generate again. As you can see we've retained the structure of the body and have details within the skin. Now that we have our new render we can send that over to PhotoP. In PhotoP we can load up our original image and put that as our base. Add a mask to our new render, invert it, and using a paintbrush we can bring back the details that we've made in Stable Diffusion. As you can see, because we overlap with the hair, we still retain some of that detail in the hair. And that's how we retouch the skin using Stable Diffusion. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this method, if there's any way that I can improve on it, or if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, check out these next ones that I've got coming up.